Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Now this episode is very close to my heart. It is all about my self-love practices and how you can get into vibrational alignment to manifest your true heart's desires. Now your self-love practices is basically doing anything that makes you feel amazing. It could be something that could be like a stress reliever. It could be something that, you know, just makes you just want to get up first thing in the morning and have a dance party in your living room in your PJs because that, my love, can be a self-love practice if that works truly best for you. You know, there's so many ways that you can connect back to yourself and make yourself feel happy. It's about nurturing that inner child within you and talking to that inner child uh, with so much love, kindness and respect. Now, I never always used to do my self-love practices and there are moments where I do slip up and recently that has been the case because I've just chewed my nails off. I'm not even going to show you on screen, I'm a little bit embarrassed about them. And I find that the self-love practices keep me in balance or in alignment and when I'm in alignment I feel good and then that's when abundance starts to attract to me. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into who I was before I started my self-love practices. Now, if you rewind about three and a half years ago, I was 10 kilos heavier. I had, I just was not feeling good. I attracted really negative relationships. I worked in jobs that I hated and I just wasn't really a happy person. My self-love journey for me started when I found um, plant-based foods and I was eating foods in their most natural form. And I'm talking, I was eating raw vegan for about six months. Oh, actually, because I used to have really bad acne and I did some research and found people on YouTube that were actually healing their body through plants. And I was like, what the hell are these hippies doing? But I was at the point where I would literally do anything to make my acne go away. So I did. I started eating plants and within three days I noticed massive results. You can check out the whole story on my healing and transformation playlist, which will be linked on the very end card. And so that kind of kick-started it for me. Then I realized I, being raw wasn't really a good balance for me. I wanted to eat cooked food. I missed like rice and sweet potatoes and lentils. And so I found my balance. And then from food, once I had healed my body, which I lost weight and, you know, I've never felt happier. I had this mental clarity and I was just feeling so good. Well, I still am feeling really, really good. And I've just got this new zest of life. So the food was kind of like the catalyst that kind of kickstarted my self-love journey. And then as I was eating better, I was like, okay, well, if I'm eating better and that's making my body feel good, I need to start thinking better thoughts. And then that's when the meditation side came into it. And then the fitness side slowly came in. It comes in and it comes out. I still haven't found my my balance with fitness just yet. And it just kind of snowballed for me. And now I look at anything um, that can make me feel better as a form of healing. So that can be anything from like sound meditations, which I love. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to manifest a new sound healing place here on Sunshine Coast. Because my last one at the Gold Coast, if you've watched my vlogs, you would have seen it. It was these silks where you literally lay in them and you're in this massive like hammock. And my teacher was actually playing um, Tibetan singing bowls and just the frequency of the different notes just whoa, just knocked me out. And there were times when I woke up, actually, my mom came with me one time and I was snoring. I was like that zonked out. I was just phenomenal. So it's really anything that makes you feel good. So I'm a massive believer now that love truly heals all blockages. The frequency of love has this vibration that has this instant healing ability. You just have to let the blockages slide. Yes, we all have blockages. I know we're not all perfect, but we are doing the very best we can with the knowledge and understanding at the times because when we know better, we do better. So today I want you to think about what are the things that make you feel good As I was writing my list, I've written like two pages. I was like, this makes me feel good. And then I'm like, oh my God, I forgot this, 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 and this. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview as to like what makes me feel good. And then at the end, I'll collate like um, some video clips together if you're a visual learner, because that's how I work best. Anyway, 
Oh, also before I go on to um, some of my self-love practices, the reason why I am so passionate besides the healing aspect and how it can make you feel good, it also makes you feel worthy. Um, there are so many times where I was like, I'm not going to get that job because I'm not good enough, or I'm not going to attract this person into my life, or I'm not going to attract this, um, financial abundance into my life. And then it's like, hold on a moment. Who told you that you are not worthy of that? So I find that the self-love practices for me help elevate my frequency, which obviously gets me vibrating in the frequency of love, which is the number one frequency to help manifest. If you're using the law of attraction, you're welcome to check out my series on the very end card. It is phenomenal. Um, and I'm in the process of making a video to let you know everything that I have manifested in the past two months of being in the vortex um, or being in alignment. And so where was I going with this? I've got all this my train of thought. There's just a fly that's outside that's really distracting me. Anyway, maybe that's a sign that the universe is like, okay, Mel, let's move it on. All right, so my list is meditation. I just finished meditating, so I feel like this sense of calm and peace and tranquility over me at the moment. It's just 15 minutes, and it just zonked me out, and I love that feeling. Sometimes I've noticed that my self-love practices, some of them where I have resistance, don't actually make me feel good in the process, but after that's when I really notice the true vibrational essence of it. Fitness being one of those. Um, yeah, vision boards is another. I've made a video to help you. Um, I show you a step-by-step -step guide how to create vision boards because oh, visualization, that's another video that you can check it out in my Law of Attraction series. Affirmations is another, but affirmations are no good if they're if the emotion associated with it doesn't match the frequency. So you can be saying, um, I have a million dollars, I have a million dollars, I have a million dollars. But deep down, you're like, nah, you're never going to get a million dollars. But if you're like, I am a millionaire, and you just feel that, that vibrational and that frequency, and you just like, you know that song by uh, Bruno Mars? I want to be a millionaire so freaking bad. Da, 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 bum, bum, bum. I don't know lyrics, you know? And like I was, that came up to me the other day, or actually yesterday when I was walking at the beach and I was like, I know that I'm going to get there. You know, I've just got these blockages that I am working towards to get rid of. And in order to help me get there, is I need to practice more love because when I love who I am, I know that I'm deser deserving and worthy and it's going to happen. All I have to do is close the gap of resistance, boom, manifest it into my existence. Whew. Okay. Mother nature. Oh my gosh. Getting sunshine, sunshine today, Junior. Um, going for a swim, wearing no shoes on the beach and watching a sunset is some of the most beautiful things in the whole wide world. And I know some of you actually wrote to me recently and said, Mel, like I know these self-love practices are fabulous for you in Australia because you have sun like 365 days a year. Someone said to me, I'm from the Netherlands. What should I do? My number one tip to you, if you are living in a cooler climate where it's like snowing out, um, I would love to trade places with you just for like a month, <laughs> um, is to get outside the fresh air, the oxygen just revigorates your, not revigorates, revitalizes your cells and it just makes you feel good. Meditating outside is like another level on top of it. And just like go outside and literally just throw your head back and laugh. Ready? Try this with me. I know you're going to be like, what the hell now? Just do it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> you just feel like such a fruit loop, but my, I just feel good. Like I feel better now. I know you probably didn't do it then because you're like, what the hell is, what is Mel talking about? But give it a go after you finish this video. It's going to make you feel better. The other one is to listen to your inner guidance. Now, the way that I listen to my inner guidance is to literally do my self-love practices. But in order to get there, that's kind of connected to meditation. It's like that internal guidance system within you where it's like, yes, no. It's like your mom and dad. Like I explained this to a seven-year-old that I was working with recently. And I was like, honey, she'd locked her sister in the bathroom. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to say don't do this because law of attraction says she's going to do more of it. So I said, honey, 
do you know how um, your mummy and daddy tell you, you know, to that's the right thing or that's not the right thing? And she's like, yeah. I was like, wow, did you know that there is actually this little voice inside your belly that's like your mum and dad and it always tells you if you're doing something right or wrong? And she's like, what? I was like, what is it telling you right now as you're locking your sister in the bathroom? And she's like, I said, is it telling you, yes, you should keep doing it or no, you shouldn't? She's like, no. And then she let go. And I was like, okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> but it was kind of like the voice is deep within you, but sometimes we disregard what it's saying. Like when you're driving and it's like, okay, it's coming to, you can just feel when the light's going to turn red, but some people floor it to try and go through and like the, your intuition is like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's a bad choice, you know? So it's just listening, like tuning into that frequency where you can be receptive to what's actually coming to you. Anyway, that's another one. Food is another one of my self-love practices. Not only it is my healing mechanism, it makes me feel amazing, but I love presenting beautifully crafted dishes. Oh, also buying organic food is another self-love practice. Sleep, having like a bedtime routine and a morning routine is amazing for me. Um, I actually made a morning routine for you on YouTube, but that was after I had come out of um, my first cycle of depression, which hopefully will be my last. Um, but that has changed. So if you want me to update that, I'll let you know because it's changed quite a lot. Singing is another, I love to sing. Um, and I, <laughs> today before this video, what I was doing was literally, um, warming up my throat just so it just helps my tongue and my throat muscles relax. And when I was at uni, I actually specialized in music and drama. And so my music teacher did all these crazy vocal warm-up exercises. And one of them is like, and like that just like releases it. There's another one, you're going to think this is so weird, where you literally like stick your tongue out. Uh, and I got told when I was singing, see this part here, that I was, I needed that snipped because apparently I wasn't my tongue muscles weren't relaxing enough how ridiculous is that oh yeah Melanie you need to snip that off I was like oh, not gonna happen anyway so the tongue ex exercises that I was doing was like it's so weird but then when you go to sing a note it's like it's just oh, it's just got a different frequency when you begin to relax so it's kind of like your self-love practices as well when you begin to relax and stop the resistance that's going on around you you feel so much better anyway i don't know why the hell that came in reading is another one or like listening to information i'm a massive fan of audiobooks right now i just can't get enough chai latte on soy milk preferably bon soy, which is the best soy you can get in Australia. Oh my gosh, that is like a self-love practice to a tea. Tea, huh? Um, henna tattoos, I love henna tattoos. I haven't done them for a while, actually. I love having a clean, tidy, and organized house. Now, every time I film on a Monday, I normally film like two videos back to back, but I just change my outfit and um, earrings and you have no idea. Maybe change my lip as well. <laughs> um, I, have, like, I have to have a clean house. Like I can't work in a messy environment. And that to me is a self-love practice. It means that I'm showing love to my house and be like, I love you house. Like look how beautiful and clean it is. It's like everything is in its place. There's no dishes on the sink. It's just perfect. Okay, this one is weird. You're gonna be like, what? Is having fresh, clean clothes. Now there was a point probably about two years ago where I was like in, no, no it wasn't. Whenever I had that depression, it was last year. Um, yeah, and I literally was in my pajamas for five days and I like ran out of clean clothes and I was literally down to my last tog bottoms. <laughs> it's like when I run out of knickers, I go into my tog bottoms. So having fresh, clean clothes is definitely a self-love practice of mine. Mirror work is another one. First thing when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, good morning, beautiful. Today's going to be an amazing day. And then I start off my rampage of appreciation. I love my bed. I love my pillow. I love my beautiful honey bun. I love my house. I love my YouTube channel. I love waking up to beautiful comments that I can reply back to. I love this cup. Like this cup is just beautiful. This is bought for my sister. And it says, when you drink, when you drink, this, think of love from me. I just love it. You know, I love having like air conditioning. I just, it says 25. <laughs> it's like hotter than that now. 
Um, what else? Oh, there's just so many things. Like I love mirror work and that's actually going to be um, a series that I'm going to um, start making soon because it's so important because it's like literally speaking to your soul. And I've actually done this with a client who has um, experienced childhood trauma and she couldn't do it. Like it was just too much. And I was like, okay, well, we need to start small. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's another one. Um, Rampage of appreciation. I've already spoken about that one. The other thing is kind of similar to that one is what's the best part of your day? Peter and I say this every single day, like sometimes we do it before he goes to work or like as we're falling asleep, we just always say, what was the best part of your day? You know, like, oh, I just love it. Like this morning, the best part of my day is that I went for a walk, like an hour walk. Um, it started raining when we were walking, which was kind of really romantic. Um, and then we came home, Peter had made me breakfast. Oh, I've got heaps of things that I love. And then we had a cup of tea together and got to meditate. And then I'm like, okay, let's play with some makeup because I never wear makeup. Like I never wear makeup unless it's something fancy that we're going to. Um, yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm going to experiment today with my makeup. So maybe this is a self-love practice too. Um, okay. The other thing is um, self-love practice. Oh, I've got relationships down here. Um, Peter and I go on a lot of picnic dates. I love that. I just, yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, another self-love practices is learning to say no when it doesn't feel right for you, even though people are like, come on now, do this, do this. And then my intuition is like, actually, I don't think that's going to be good for your vibration. Oracle and tarot readings are another one. And just doing random acts of kindness. Just really anything that makes you feel truly happy. So my loves, I hope that you are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I just wanted to remind you to reconnect with yourself. Vibrate on the frequency of love because it heals all blockages. Seriously. Oh my goodness. I am such a different person now that I have found self-love. I am not perfect by any means you know, but it is a journey. We are on the journey to become our greatest version. And each day we are getting closer and closer as we continue to close the gap of resistance. And then this is when we start radiating on the frequency of love. Comment below. Let me know where you are in the world and what was the best part of your day. I love you so much, my love. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.